Hey folks, uh, I'm back finally. Uh, I didn't get a chance to record uh, a lot of videos recently, but I'm back and I want to start over and kind of um, go over the main topics that you need to be prepared for in um, sorted by importance, right? Sort, um, based on data from LinkedIn. I, I would like when you, when you are going through uh, preparing for a DevOps or SRE interview, um, there's so much information out there for what you need to cover and it can get overwhelming really, really fast, right? So what I did is I went to LinkedIn, looked through some jobs uh, for DevOps and kind of um, left out all the senior ones. So focused on uh, jobs that only required maybe up to a few years of experience, maybe even zero. And then I did, took the keywords and, and basically did a sorting of which keywords came up the most, right? Th this allows you to focus on, focus on main topics and not get diverted into uh, too many topics, right? Also, because these are sorted based on how frequently they appear in job descriptions, you know which ones to focus more on. Uh, I think it'll be too boring for me to go uh, through um, all of them because uh, it'll be too long a video, uh, but hopefully you can see the screen here. I'm not using a big screen today, just my Mac, um, but I will go through some of the top ones, So you, you, but you have the reference here. These are the top 15 topics that you need to study for DevOps interview. First and of course, cloud, cloud, cloud. You don't have to know all clouds. You don't. You only have to know one. And if you're going for a uh, startup, which is often the case, or a small company, uh, you're more likely to get Google Cloud and, um, and not, not so much AWS. AWS is, is more common in, in with large enterprises. But either way, you just pick one cloud uh, and go with that. Now, if you have Windows background, Azure might be the thing for you because not too many people know Azure. So Azure actually has a... Uh, sweet spot because not many people know that, but it's different. If you know Azure, uh, you may not be familiar with Google or AWS so much. So um, that's that's a, that's a strategy you can take if you're going for your first job, right? Uh, second one is, of course, CICD pipelines. That's bread and butter for DevOps or SRE um, people, right? You have to know how to write pipelines. And some of the common tools are GitHub Actions, Jenkins, GitHub runners and all that. Uh, pick one, pick one that you are familiar with. This will require, by the way, for you to know some level of bash scripting, right? Which comes down in the list, I think in what number is that? It's in the list somewhere. Anyhow, scripting is part part of this 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 skills skill set, but pipelines, number two, right after cloud. Number three, performance monitoring availability. This was this one surprised me because I didn't think this was this would be number three, but it is based on data. So pick a tool, maybe Prometheus and Kibana or Grafana or something like that. Pick a tool. Now this one, you don't have to go too deep into it. So don't spend days and days learning Prometheus. Just understand that performance is something you're going to be responsible for in this role. And therefore you'd be expected to know what things you're going to measure. And we can make more videos on details on that, but uh, the level of depth needed uh, in this particular category is not that much. Number four, development. So here we are talking about coding. So in some way or another, uh, you were in the interview will, to make sure, will look to make sure that you know uh, enough coding. Now, what is enough? Uh, for senior, senior roles, you have to be almost a software engineer, um, kind of. You have to have some background in, in, in that field. But if you're just starting out, uh, just scripting and simple programming is enough. You may also be um, asked to do a coding interview. Uh, if you if you are, then you, you should, really should be familiar with one language, either Python, Golang, whatever it is your favorite. And then in that language, focus on string type um, coding exercises. Okay, number five is scripting. There it is. I was uh, I didn't I didn't, I didn't see that earlier. So scripting is essential because not only is part of number two CI/CD, right? but it's also um, part of your day-to-day -day tasks that you do as a DevOps engineer, right? So I'm not gonna bore you with going through all of this, but the on only honorable mention here is number 12 uh, in, in IAC, also called 
infrastructure as code and Terraform. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised that it came in at number 12, but really it's one of the key ones that people would be testing you on or asking you about, right? Um, there are many more tools than just Terraform for um, in, in, infrastructure as code, but Terraform is the most common one, so and it's the easy one to learn anyway, so might as well learn that. So you can look into this slide and look through the rest of the list, but again, these are sorted. These are sorted. That means focus, start at the top, Focus at the top, do cloud pipelines, performance, develop and whatnot, and put less um, importance on the topics that are coming up down the list. I hope you found this video useful and I will see you in the next one.